how do we decide our moral identities? It's off of where we go for everything. It was our parents, but you have the internet now, and the internet might have raised you. Did it? Did the internet raise you? Some of you, for sure. Some of you might be in denial, and then others, maybe not. Maybe you're Amish. No one's really able to grow a good beard yet, except for Eric there. <laughs> Here's where I want to compel you to, to think about it. So, you guys know who this is? Yeah. I met him. Uh, yeah. You met him, of course. You guys live where all the YouTubers live. So, this guy, I'm pretty sure he only had nine million when I looked last. He's not going down, right? What is this guy famous for? Uh, for, knowing other famous people. for knowing other famous people. For dating uh, Liza, Liza who she is, she's cool, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone would think she's she's clever. She comes up with clever content. He's not for being friends with Josh. Like, that one dude from from it's from. Hot some old Disney show, and now that guy is just a David Dobrik groupie. Yeah. Awesome, that's what happens to you. Either you go and make music and then fall off and, and do some crazy stuff if you're a girl Disney star, and if you're a guy Disney star, you become a groupie of a YouTuber <laughs> or Justin Timberlake. So just looking at this first video, he has 11 million. You think that's not a lot? Like the power that these people hold and the amount of revenue that they can make compared to regular actors, like Oscar winning actors, people are, are understanding this now. When a show hits prime time and they're trying to get views, do you know what like a good night looks like? Probably about that much. And when he's posting every like two days, what's the US population? Something close to that. Think about the percent. And just the percent of people who use YouTube, how many people that means are subscribed to him. Like that's, that's pretty mind blowing when you think about just how much those numbers mean, like 11 million, that's freaking crazy. So let's just watch this video that he has at the beginning here. Just a little bit of it so you can see what kind of stuff they do. You would think if someone's got that many subscribers, that many people listening to them, watching them, learning how to be a human, because you got to think about this, even social interactions, why would you even watch a vlog? It's just someone doing normal or dumb stuff with their friends, and it's like you're their friend, like point of view, right? Mm -hmm. You're there with them. You're their friend too. Yeah. <laughs> We're friends. You have the t-shirt. They know you. Okay. They're throwing bottles. Whoa! Are you alright? No. No, no. Fuck. Come here, come here, get the camera. Get the camera, get the camera, get the camera. Clickbait, clickbait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Get a thumbnail, get a thumbnail. Quick, get a thumbnail. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, Jason, come here, Quay! Oh, this is incredible! This is the best thing ever! David, David, this is so Josh, David, David, no! Bring your hand up higher! David, alright, you got it! David, I don't like go, this! Go, at all. go, 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 go! Cover it, cover it! Oh my god! Stop the bleeding! Stop the bleeding! Stop the bleeding! Fuck, David! We gotta take you to the ER! Really we gotta go to the ER, yeah. yeah! When did they start talking about the hospital? <laughs> After the thumbnail! What's the most important thing? The first thing is not get the towel. The first thing is everyone goes for their camera. Do you know how I know? Because there's a video from every single one of them. Are you serious? Are you saying that for the camera? They're really gonna go to the ER. Go See my hands? Hands? They don't even know anymore what's hospital worthy. They're like, is this is this for the bit? Is this part of the bit or is it really bad? Right? They don't even understand. They're not even operating in reality anymore. They've been doing this for so long. This is real, guys. This is what people think. They're like, oh shit, I should have had my camera. When it happened, everyone looked for their cameras. Everyone's like, That's exactly shit. Right. David, give me a little bit of a sad face. Cry for me. We need it. We need it. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus. You feel like you're going to pass out? I hope I pass out. <laughs> How much is an ambulance? $1,600? Yeah. Surprise, my friends, a $1,600 ambulance. I just loved that I was on, on the line when I went. When I was like, hey, this is Josh Beck from Drake and Josh. <laughs> the ambulance guy was like, keep direct pressure on that shit. They said keep direct pressure and keep the cameras rolling. <laughs> they were like, is this for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> Whose channel? Who's <laughs> Big Nick's? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Tell them to turn those damn sirens on, Jason. I need a good shot. Can they turn the sirens on louder? I've never respected you so much. It's literally going, ah! 
So, <laughs> so they, get to, they get the ambulance there. They decide not to take it. Why? Because the ambulance won't let them record. They're like, oh, we can't record? They just drive him. They call the ambulance. They, I'm sure he's getting a bill for it. It doesn't matter. Do you know how much money he gets from one video? And he's putting out three a week. Yeah, means absolutely nothing. So not only there's that video, but now there's emergency room reactions. Now there's people who don't even know him reacting to the video. And then his friends who were in it reacting to their videos, putting their videos up. Then we've even got a video of David Dobrik reacting to David getting hurt. What is this? What is this crap? This is what people do with their lives now? <laughs> They're not just watching other people live their lives. They are watching other people reacting to them living their lives. Like, what is this? What is this? Seriously, are we even living anymore when we're doing this? How does Eliza feel? We gotta hear what she thinks. Maybe they can do a prank on her while they're in the hospital. Anything to keep you watching. By the way, this section of the class is called All for the Views. Okay, what happens when people try to become YouTubers like this? Remember these guys? Did anyone hear about this? Oh. Pregnant girlfriend cried and pleaded with boyfriend to stop YouTube stunt moments before shooting him dead. She already had a YouTube channel, and then this guy, he's got a desert eagle. Badass, right? Gold chrome plated. Pretty, pretty rad gun, right? He puts a phone book in front of his chest and has his pregnant girlfriend shoot him with a 50 caliber handgun. That's the most powerful handgun that we make. She shoots him point blank and he dies. No shit, right? So he dies. This is the footage of it beforehand. Here's video footage of him in his boxers talking about how he's gonna do this, all premeditated. So what did that do to her? Can you imagine? She moved away, she disappeared. What do you think she thinks about YouTube? Ruined her life, her child, who is now born, orphaned, because of this idea that you can make it this way. And that video would have gotten a ton of views if he was able to put that out there. Like that would have been success, right? People are gonna go to like great extents for this stuff. What do you think she thinks about YouTube now? So I checked it out a year later. She started another YouTube channel. And it's just normal stuff. She's got some video about her new boyfriend and what it's like for him to be a dad. She's putting out stuff quite a bit here. She bounced back. She's doing YouTube again. She's got 30,000 subscribers. Like, does this even... Like, what's it doing to us?